campuses only separated by about 200 miles. And this is their first ever meeting. Wofford won the toss, elected to defer. Here comes Carolina with the return. Conley for the Tar Heels, 30 to 23, and that was in overtime. And some really close calls this season for North Carolina. This is Walston, one of the seniors and grad students. Playing with so much confidence right now for this offense, he'll be big for these young quarterbacks. And how about that? Tucking it and going a little bit. And Newark, the safety for Walford's going to be big today, Tom. He gives up the big plays. Criswell with that nice little. That's Chandler. He's got the first down near the 40 yard line for North Carolina. Run past 1,000 today, over 3,000 it would be then for his career. He's got room on the right side. Broke a couple of tackles. And down near the 21-yard line for Chandler. Criswell has done a good job of running him down the field. Quick pitch getting outside here to Chandler. This is Chandler. Just runs over the defender, G. Roberto, inside the 10-yard line. Nice little play call. You got misdirection on the inside. You see the big bodies, so you're pulling those linebackers. Those linebackers. Informs his teammates. He's still got the football. He dives to the goal line and in. Criswell with the touchdown from a yard out. North Carolina in the end zone. 7 0 lead. Former Arkansas Gatorade Player of the Year in high school. Had a big drive. Run early on the drive. At the end of the drive, he'll put it in the paint. Peyton played against FIU, but then was sick two weeks ago, but had his best game as a Terrier last week, and here they'll move the chains on their first touch. By a single point at the Citadel. On third down, Ingram's not going to get it. One is not enough. That's when you don't want to be the one. Runner up for the Heisman twice. Roberts gets it away. Downs will let it bounce near the 35. Fielded on the hop. And dragged down just past the 30-yard line. 38 yards on the punt. The return from Downs. That was a win after the loss on the road at Virginia Tech when North Carolina started the year ranked number 10. This is out past the 45. Look at Chandler. Trying to get the most of senior day here at Keenan Memorial Stadium. Yards on the first drive. He just got 19, James. Yeah, you mentioned what a big get he was, the transfer from Tennessee. Look at him, little stutter step, changing speeds, and then hitting that boost button. Remember, of course, the, the, the two special running backs they lost off of last year's team, and he just keeps on coming. Just inside the 40-yard line of Wofford and a first down 11 yards for Chandler. With Narduzzi up at Pitt. Criswell up the middle, down the hash marks and toward the 10 yard line. Creative moves, De Roberto on the tackle. Ran out of his shoe. Design quarterback run right here. Nice job, put that foot in the ground and go behind. Matt Brown's team this year, they, they haven't folded up the tent. Came fighting back and made a game of it, that's for sure. Ball comes out at the two-yard line to Downs, but it's being ruled an incomplete pass. I think they'll take a look at it, but that was, was close if it didn't. I was watching more of the catch if it hit the grass, but nonetheless, it's three for UNC. 26 yards, Grayson Atkins. They still have a chance to win the Atlantic as well. Yeah, I mean, uh, well, a lot can happen, but, but that one thing is, is certain is those two teams control their own destiny. By the way, Clemson has won that title game six years in a row also. Uh, that's a tough out, especially with Phil Dracovic back playing for BC up there. So Broussard on the carry. Yeah, we saw Dracovic last week. How about three rushing TDs from the big man? They try to go to the air. This pass too far and incomplete. That's going to bring up fourth down. 10-0 Tar Heels. We're inside of a minute to go in our first quarter. Final home game of the year. Downs. Fields it. Gets fenced in and dropped at the 17. 38 yards on the punt. There was no return. 
considering the campuses, as we mentioned, about 200 miles separated. Wofford in Spartanburg, South Carolina. That is complete to Downs. Spins, goes up field to the 32-yard line. First down yardage. 78 yards on 10 carries. Tar Heels look to the air again. Criswell airs it out, and it's just beyond his intended receiver. The junior from Dublin, Ireland. First time today, as James mentioned. Low liner. KO over to grab it up that sideline in front of his own bench. The punt was 46 yards. Behind the scenes, bringing you the pictures and sound all season long of ACC football. We're lucky enough to document it each and every Saturday. That's a first down run and more. Peyton Derrick taking off. It's on the run. Absolutely. And it, this isn't designed. The pressure got there. Decided to tuck it and go and showing you he's got a little bit of wheels. Peyton Derrick playing his last collegiate football game here today. Did have a rushing touchdown in the OT loss against the Citadel last week. This is another big chunk play. That's inside the 30 for Wofford. Well, this is what I'm talking about. The dog will hunt key to the game. Look at the big boys getting up and moving. Getting guys like Cedric Gray cut off on the next level. Excellent job. A week ago, it was 7 of 12 for 181 yards through the air. They'll go leg it again. Trying to stretch it out. He won't do it. They put the pressure on here for Jay Bateman. Third and ten. Derek hanging on to it. He's inside the 20 to the 18. Needed an extra yard to get to the 17. Everybody, don't try to be your 1-11th of the defense here. Wofford, first down inside the 15. It's Ingram right up the middle. Derek handing it off to Ingram, and he gets pushed back. What a surge by North Carolina. Now flags come out late. Pinnix into the end zone for Wofford. Three yards away, and Kyle Pinnix takes it in for the Terriers. Nice read. Everybody washed down. And tripping on into the Carolina blue paint. It's 10 to 7. Tar Heels. That Friday night game, that'll be one heck of a matchup. Always is a great game. Just something about it this year is going to be extra special, I feel like. First down, close to the 40. Him and Sam Howell were sitting right next to each other. I had a chance to talk to Howell right before the game, and he said he told the players just to be calm and relax and enjoy the game. I always come in the meeting room, I got my feet up. I haven't listened to country or, or reggae, and he, he credits Mike Leach and Cliff Kingsbury being around them and the way they, they handle their their quarterback rooms. And keeled and relaxed. Sam Howe, a great leader down there, Rebecca, that's for sure. They're in good hands. That ball's in good hands as well, and all the way to the end zone for North Carolina. 38-yard run and a touchdown. British Brooks takes it in for North Carolina. Good job by the big guys up front. Brooks outside. Nice blocking down the field. That's how those big plays happen. Look, kids, big Ben. All of them. With that injury like that, so good to have him back in there. Broussard has a first down for Wofford up past the 35-yard line to the 37. It's seven yards on the carry. Without a doubt, a special day for all these seniors and some of the underclassmen that are on their way out. You're right, North Carolina has more football to play. Just over two minutes to go in our first half. Derek sliding past the 45-yard line on your regional sports networks and your ACC stations. This is Downs. He'll watch it bounce. He'll go near the 10-yard line. And they'll mark it at the 9. I kid because I can't. <laughs> From his goal line, Criswell, dangerous situation. Then gets rid of it and has the pass to Walston. All the tools to be a good quarterback, but this right here, this is what makes a special quarterback, what makes a great quarterback. We'll be a really good football team. 
Criswell has the time, goes over the middle, Downs reaching out for that one, makes the catch, Wofford's side of the 50. So next year going into the season, I'm going to tell everybody that'll listen, we're going to be horrible this year. <laughs> Five catches for 57 yards so far for Downs. Criswell improvising, now running, 40-yard line and a spin. And he's got first down yardage. Nice timeout for Conklin to make sure his troops know how big these last 21 seconds are. They got to make a stop, though. Criswell pass inside the 20. That's on time and on schedule for a first down and downs. Offensive line continues to do a great job for Criswell, but it also can be within two scores here and get the ball first in the second half would be big for him. The field goal attempt from 34 yards away. And it is good on the final play of the first half by Grayson Atkins, two for two. Way to run things here. And so doing it on the ground. Just what the head coach ordered. They'll go to the ground again. Derek, plenty of room. Sliding near midfield. You know, and let's not forget, th this is a Wofford bunch. Uh, you mentioned earlier, a couple hundred miles away from Chapel Hill. And guys that... Couple pretty good first plays here in the second half for this offense. Derek with a play fake, and that one is intercepted. McMichael on the pick for North Carolina. Michael had nine yards on the return after the pick, James. Hopefully 44 is okay. How about the concentration? McMichael off the hands of the receiver. I believe that was Alec Holt. And a... Game-saving tackle by P.J. Harris after the turnover. Well, Drake May is into the game at quarterback. He hands it off to British Brooks, who drags some carriers with him. It was Ty Chandler for Jacoby Criswell in the first half. And here it's British Brooks' little play pass. Downs. 25-yard line and a first down. Against Virginia Tech, had eight catches, 123 yards, and a touchdown. Had him let up. May again. Near the 15, it is on the money. Three for three in the red zone today. May hands that one off. This is Brooks all the way to the end zone for North Carolina and his second rushing TD. Two if by C, one if by land. Like that lamp again. The British are coming 27 to 7. Good job blocking by Olsen down the field to help pay. Who start working well before kickoff on Saturdays. Three backs, Tom. 7 19 and rolling in the third quarter. Tar Heels up 27 7. This is May galloping up the middle. All right. Okay. <laughs> up to the 30-yard line and 18 yards. Well, just like Chriswell a couple times. Nothing there. Let me tuck it and get what I can. And what I can is a whole lot right up the gut of this Wofford basketball player in high school. His brother, Bo, is a student here at North Carolina. May extending the play. Now he cradles it and gets pulled down. T.J. Neal, zero for Wofford. May tries the other side. This one is caught. J.J. Jones, the freshman. Car Heels think they have a first down. By Jones. Five receiver set. May's going to run it. <laughs> right up the middle. He knows his alleys. All the way to a first down inside the 45. Season making the most of it, James. Designed run again here. You know, it's it's funny the similarities in the way this offense has been called and, and, and the owns just about every record out there in the UNC books and one of his teammates downs trying to get a big one here today as well. That is caught near the sideline and a first down. JJ Jones just picked it off the turf. Third down for Maine, Carolina. Trying to run to get it with Brooks. Second effort. He needed the 19. They're going to mark him at the 20. The 27-7 football game. 6 of 14 on the season on fourth down. And that was Brooks. He dragged a, dragged rather, a would-be tackler. May. 
through the progression. Throws on the run. Flags are out on the play. Antoine Green was the receiver in the end zone, and Donovan Anderson. Brooks is the back. He won't get it. May throws it into the end zone and caught for the touchdown. Kamari Morales, TD, North Carolina. And Drake May with his first touchdown toss. School over there near Tallahassee in Florida's panhandle. Touchdown number one on the ground for Chris Well, number one through the air for Drake. Before taking over the program four years ago. Nothing there. That's a big pile up at the 30 and a loss of three. Good looking numbers for both these quarterbacks. Derek, complete Holt. First down near the 45 yard line up to the 47 for Alec Holt. At Thanksgiving, but you know, playing quarterback doesn't know what he's going to do anymore without that family tie. So that's been the topic of conversation for most meals for that family. That is a first down walker to the 30-yard line. You did say it, though. Yes, you did. Terriers will run it. Derek, 20-yard line, and that should be good enough for a first down. It's been a winning football team the last couple of years prior to this season. Just one win on this year. Look out. They got a touchdown here. This is Ingram to the end zone, 19 yards. That's a Terrier touchdown. On the right side of that line, a couple of South Carolina kids leading the way in Gardner and Greenlee to pave the way for another touchdown. Modest gain, if any, on the play. We'll give him two. 7.24 left. Interesting formation as well. Some window dressing, eye candy. And now they're two for two on fourth down. They got three yards. British Brooks. Is it the Orange Bowl from last year? No, James, but it is still an accomplishment as May handles up near midfield. That's enough for a first down. You don't just replace those guys and fill in the blanks. Long pass. Fight for the ball. Down at the five. Wow. J.J. Jones, if you please. Well, that ball is there. Anderson is there as well. Right in stride. He goes back over that outside shoulder, but never losing focus and concentration on that rock. J.J. Jones, even with the hand. Chuck Smith in on the stop. 97 for Wofford. Trying to turn back Carolina at the doorstep. They've done it again on third and goal. Bates, you got this one? Off of the play fake, there are penalty markers, and May gets rocked out of bounds. To have it produce an automatic first down. It's a good clarification. Yeah. Because May did not throw the ball. However, for Wofford into play, again, play another down, and here, got another chance at it, fourth and two of their own, and they do convert. Walker gets it for Wofford. No Ch uh, Ty Chandler after the first quarter, and, and no even no more British Brooks, who was the third string guy in there. It's, Wofford continues to roll it on down. Still a chance to finish this season with eight wins. Walker, one and ten. In fact, they won their very first game of the year. That was against Elon, 24-22. Over the middle and complete. But that will be the final play of the game, 34-14. North Carolina is bowl eligible, and they send the seniors and the grad students and Sam Howell off in the proper way with a victory for Mac Brown, career win number 265.